Okay, I'm going to try and do a video on investing. So I have three flasks here with, with waxes in them. I've got my room temperature water. I have my investment. It's already mixed. I've already filled it in here in the scale. I have my water. I use 110 milliliters for every one pound of investment. I have a big container of investment here. I try and get it in about 100 pounds at a time. UPS guy hates me. But anyways, uh, so what I'm going to do is I have to dump this into the water. Hopefully without spilling it. Okay, I have 11 minutes. Now you want to mix this so it's kind of like pancake batter. poured way too much water in there, but it seems to be really good, so I'm just going to let it go. In fact, I poured so much water in there, I'm just going to grab a little more investment here. You don't want it too thin. You gotta mix it up really well. You want it to be as smooth as possible. I got to move it over to the casting machine, which is actually going to be used just to draw the air out of the, uh, the investment. Now it's slowly going to draw the air up and out of the investment. At this point, I can take off the mask. So like I said, I have about 11 minutes tops before this really hardens. So it's, it's risen up to the top there. Now I'm going to turn it off. Releasing the air. Right now, I, this is, won't come off. Now it will. So now what I do... I have to very gently pour the investment into these flasks. You want to pour it slow because you don't want the investment to rush in and break off some of the waxes. There's one. Move that right there. And I put the tape around it. So that when I pull the air out of it a second time, it doesn't go up over the sides and make a big mess. This is still, it's a, it's a little bit 
wet. A little, little thinner than I would have liked, but it will still work. So I'm not too worried. And I got one little one here. This one doesn't need tape. The waxes are low enough. There's enough of a rim that I don't need to worry about it overflowing. So now what I do, clean off the bottom, set that down on there. This is the vacuum part. It's going to uh, suck out all the air that gets trapped air bubbles and stuff like that in the waxes. And I kind of pound on it to agitate it a bit more. They say you should do that a few minutes, but I have found that it makes no difference whatsoever. So I do it anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute and a half, whatever looks good. Now I'll take a little extra and pour it on the top here. Those waxes were pretty tall. I haven't found that this causes any problems either. And so now we'll just let that dry. And then once it dries, we'll pop the bottoms off and it'll be ready to go into the oven. Thank you.